So you may remember that I've talked a little bit about this, but homophones are words that sound the same. They sound exactly the same, but they are spelled differently. So homophones are words that sound exactly the same, but they're spelled differently. And they have different meanings. So they're spelled differently and have different meanings. So here's an example, and I'll put it up so you can see it. Bear and bear. Okay, so if I look here, this bear right here is like the animal that I might see in the woods. Okay, the animal that I might see in the woods. B E A R. This bear, B A R E, was like you might say you're walking in bare feet. If you're walking in bare feet, what does that mean? Scarlet? You don't have any shoes or you wouldn't have any socks on, right? If your feet are bare, you would have no shoes or no socks on. Could a bear be bare? Yeah. Could a bear be bare? Yes. Yes, because what would it mean if I said that a bear, the animal, was bare? What would it not have, Melina? It wouldn't have any fur, right? It wouldn't have any fur. Now, do we oftentimes see bears without fur? No, usually they have fur. But, Eli, Leo, you have warnings for talking. Okay? But they might have bare spots. They might have spots in their, in their fur that is bare that doesn't have any hair. Okay? So, homophones are words that sound the same, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. Okay, so if we look here, Meg is wearing a plain dress without any beads or buttons. This happens to be one of our vocabulary words, this plain. Okay, so we know that this plain means it's not fancy, it's simple. Her dress is plain, it has no beads, no buttons, it's very plain. But my next sentence, Meg and her parents are flying on a plane. Which kind of plane is this? Scarlett tried to show me. What kind of plane is it, Scarlett? Like with your arms where you're flying through the air, right? Okay, so notice, do those words, plane and plane, sound exactly the same? Yes, but when I look at them, they are not spelled the same. Okay, now homophones can be a little tricky. And the reason I say that homophones can be a little tricky is because if I'm just talking, and I'm reading you a sentence and you can't see it, you have to listen to the context and the other words around it to help identify which version of that homophone it is. Homophones are a little bit easier when you can see them in writing. Homophones are a little bit easier when you can see them in writing, okay? So we're gonna watch, a, this is one of my favorite videos to help us learn about homophones. Maybe. Is it going to work? Oh, no. Why isn't it working? Okay. Well, I will get our homophone video.